We are tracking new details in a story making national headlines tonight. Police say 31 people showed up in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, looking to riot. Investigators say they are linked to a white supremacist group. And we now know five of those people are from our state. Police believe they were there to cause trouble, armed with shields and riot gear. Before we send him to the breaking news you just saw, Matthew Smith looked into this group, and they were there to protest. This is the Patriot Front considered a hate group. What have you learned about what they were doing there and what they stand for, Matthew? Well, David, I got to tell you, the Anti-Defamation League laid it out pretty plainly when talking to me earlier today. They consider this the most visible white supremacist group in the country, anywhere. But in recent years, researchers say they've really branched out. They now use bigoted language under the guise of patriotism, kind of a veneer, if you will, to gain themselves more followers, to really mainstream their message. They came to riot downtown. Investigators in Idaho say 31 men were arrested on Saturday. Five of those people from our state. Colton Brown of Ravensdale, Michelle Buster of Spokane, James Johnson of Concrete, Justin O'Leary of Des Moines, and Spencer Simpson of Ellensburg. They're scheduled to be arraigned on Monday in Coeur d'Alene for conspiracy to riot. We received a telephone call from a concerned citizen who reported that approximately 20 people jumped into a U-Haul wearing masks. They had shields and, quote, looked like a little army. The arrests took place near a Pride Month event. Today, I talked with neighbors of Justin O'Leary and Colton Brown's dad. They had heard the men were going camping, but instead they turned up here. According to police, the group even had an operation plan. We definitely have a local homegrown problem here with the Patriot Front. Miri Cypress is with the Anti-Defamation League. Now, ADL's research found that 80% of white supremacist propaganda spread here in the U.S. is coming from the Patriot Front. We have found very vitriolic, racist, homophobic, um, anti-Semitic ideas that they believe and espouse. So although they might seem to be, you know, individuals in in khakis and, you know, polo shirts, what's really behind that um, veneer is, is pure racism and the idea that the United States should return to an all-white country. I mean, I just met one of these guys' fathers, and he's saying, you know, hey, my, my ex is Hispanic, my wife is Vietnamese. The idea of white supremacy was just shocking to him. So I'm wondering, how does this spread? It doesn't sound like in this instance it was father to son. How do we get to here. Technology has really created this community where white supremacists and even those who don't start as white supremacists, but those who are drawn to extremist ideas are really able to learn more and to create a community unto themselves. And the culture has really changed around it as well. Well, according to the Anti-Defamation League, Washington State regularly ranks in the top five for white supremacist propaganda being spread in our state. So you might be wondering, what the heck can I do as I listen to this story? Well, they say you have to look beyond that veneer that we just talked about and being willing to report when you see stickers or flyers or handouts going out for this type of material. That's when you can call a group like the Anti-Defamation League or even police if you feel comfortable. Uh, police in this case actually were aware and were able to react to that U-Haul with those 31 people inside of it because somebody picked up the phone, they saw something suspicious and let them know about it. We're live in Seattle tonight. Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.